the starry crown is an old, old song. It's uh, spiritual, and uh, we sang it as children in our churches as well as in the elementary schools. And each person can have a starry crown. And uh, this was sort of like a dream. And as I grow older, the childhood things, the childhood memories become very important to me now. And uh, to reach this uh, climatic point of view of having your crown uh, probably is a goal that's very important for me and it represents, again, the meaning of immortality. And uh, so there is a, a spiritual, a real song with the starry crown as title. And it, in, it's these other meanings that I read into it. The three women are symbols. Uh, first, I thought in terms of my mother and my grandma and my sisters and other women that were very close, as well as my wife, as I witnessed them sewing and making quilts through the years. And this is a scene I had observed since of being a child, a very small child. Quilt making was a very familiar uh, craft for the women in my family and going back several generations. So it's a composite of women first in my family and the great love and admiration that I had developed over through the years uh, uh, about how they made things and especially the quilt since the quilt itself represents a recycling of life. And uh, again, the women with the three, uh, I, I thought in terms of mythology again, the three Marys, the three Mayas, the, the eternal meaning of the self in three parts, uh, all of humanity's female self, this is what I'm trying to say. And also I'm trying to speak historically and mythologically. If you look at the shatters, the shatters may suggest the queens of Africa, the Benin queens, the queens of Egypt. In the shadow are their crowns. So this is the way we're talking about the starry crown in another way too. So it's a several pointed kind of thing. Uh, it is not, it does not have just a simple straightforward point of view, but it really dealt uh, with, with many, many experiences that I've had with women and my great respect for mother, sister, wife, it's, it's, it's the meaning that I believe that is a universal symbol of all life. And uh, that's what this picture, I was trying to do with this picture. And by the way, one might be interested in knowing it took me over five years to paint this picture. The crowns symbolize achievement in several ways. Uh, historically, crowns have always represent the, the highest. It, it is it's a point of culmination. So, uh, using again African crowns as the as the basic takeoff, but yet at the same time, bird bird bills and bird heads crossing there. Also, between the crowns is the eye the ever-seeing eye. Again, light that is coming as the heads come together and mix. So we have, I hope, a, a concept that represent maybe the highest point of achievement in a certain kind of way. And that's what I was trying to say. Uh, my travels to Africa I characterize it as the beginning of my second learning. Uh, I learned the meaning of mythology. I learned the meaning of unity in life. I learned the meaning of the extended family. And I learned the meaning of symbolism. And I learned that symbolism itself is language 
And there are many symbolic organizations that form many different languages. Uh, this was such a wonderful experience for me. It was like a person being reborn. And since my travels there, my work certainly shows directly this influence. Now before then, I was inspired mainly by European art artists such as Van Gogh, uh, Millet, uh, Hieronymus Bosch, and, and, and many others. This, this is what characterized my work. And uh, even the mural painter from Missouri, that I can't think of his name, Benton. Uh, these were my sources. Kathy Coleridge was my source for drawing. Now since then, I have attempted to bring the two together, to synthesize the two cultures that I am a part of that we are a part of in America, to show this synthesis, to show the beauty of it. And I feel that I'm having some success, but pictures like the three uh, quilting women, starry crown, the wheel in the wheel, these are, are, are pieces that grow out of our old spirituals that were created in this country, but the symbolism, a great deal of it, are centuries old in our African cultures. So this is really what my visit to Africa has meant to me.